Hello and welcome to another video detail art, this time a 2011 Range Rover. It's pretty dirty but underneath all this it's very swirly. So the job sheet on this one, do what we can and the time provided. So I've got two days on this car, try and knock out as much as I can and see if I can get a ceramic coating on. Should be able to, they're fairly straightforward, nice straight flat panels mostly. So I'm going to pop the car outside now, get it all cleaned and decontaminated. And then, we'll see in a minute, become a little bit less dirty. And a few hours later in the real world, we're back in. The car's ready for polishing, so we do one of those clicky things. Everything will be masked up, and I'll be machine polishing. All right, so everything's polished and panel wiped, ready for the ceramic coating. So the panel wipe just makes sure there's no oils or residues left from the polishing stage that might prevent the coating adhering properly. And like I said, this car, it's not perfect. There's a few scratches and imperfections dotted around, but it's looking a whole lot better than it did. So time to get coating. Last job on the Range Rover, windscreen coating, and then I can show you the end result. And that's the end of the work on the Range Rover. So I said two days at the start, it took three days, which is still pretty quick for one of these cars. Done two stage polish on the bonnet, sides and rear end, single stage over the roof, two parts ceramic coating, so heavy base layer, hydrophobic top layer, windscreen coated, Wheels got waxed, interior got a clean up, so the leather got cleaned and some spots around the uh, like seatbelt pillars and over the headliner. Um, 
as a little treat for the owner it well they fade terribly the plastic breaks down so I tinted the rear brake light the third brake light now it doesn't stand out like a beacon on the top of the car so much it looks a bit more red on camera but it also looks more like the red of the actual light clusters now rather than like an orangey red like it looked like my trolley on top of the car so I'll leave you with some after footage now of the finished car thanks again for watching give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you're not already see you next time